I was actually literally just about to give up. What's up, Agents? Zero here. Welcome back to another episode of the Survival Series. This is episode 66, and if you remember last time, what we actually ended up doing was a number of different uh, things throughout the world. The first thing when we actually ended up doing was we set up our nether portal so that it could be turned on and off, which, all things considered, this is not a multiplayer thing, so I don't know what made me decide I wanted to do with that. And then we did a few small chores around the area, uh, because we only spent like five minutes working on that circle thing. I was actually honestly expecting that to take a lot longer than it did, because... Usually when I do a tutorial, it, uh, it, depending on what it is, it doesn't take too long. But then when I go and build and survival, it takes a lot longer. And for whatever reason, that didn't happen. So, we spent like 15 minutes doing some random tasks, all things considered. Um, this episode, what I actually want to do, I actually want to head into the nether. That's actually some place I have not been to in quite some time. I've already technically got a whole bunch of cobblestone all ready to go. It's probably overkill all things considered, but I'd rather have more than enough of something than not enough of something. That's kind of like one thing I like to go for, and seriously, this happens every so often. I don't know what is about Minecraft that causes this. All right, so we're going to be going to the nether, as I mentioned. Um, we have not been there in so long. Um, uh, the first time that we went there, I died, like, twice in the nether, and then I decided it wasn't worth going back a second time to get my stuff, and I got killed by a creeper trying to come back home, so it did not bode well for me. The second time I went, we actually ended up getting quite a bit done. We found another fortress right next to another portal and well there are some there were some blaze spawners there. Oh hello zombie pigmen. There were some blaze spawners. Um hold on is this the same? Yes it is. I was wondering because the chunks weren't loading. Okay so we found an another fortress Right next to our nether portal, which I do believe... No, I don't think it's down here if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's not down here. Um, found a nether fortress right near the um, nether portal, which is, I do believe, this way. And it did have a few blaze spawners. However, the main reason why I want to... Yeah, it's all the way over here. The main reason why I wanted to come back to the nether. I want to find myself a new nether fortress because after I found the um after I found the blaze spawners I was so excited because I could get the blaze rods in order to make a brewing stand which I do have and I was so excited to make the brewing stand that I forgot that I needed uh, nether warts in order to actually make the act to actually make the potions because I don't have any. Where am I? Okay, I can get out of this quite easily. Um. So, I don't have any nether warts in order to make any form of potion, which I was actually surprised that the, it didn't have that. You need to be very careful because otherwise it could run into, I guess, which I heard them without a problem. I heard them the ghasts. Let me go ahead and put this up and pull out cobblestone. And all things considering, can go ahead and put up my clock because it's not going to be of any use to me in the nether. All things considering, I could probably have um, left my clock at home. 
Alright, so I'm not 100% worried about getting things such as Nether Quartz or Glowstone because I've got plenty of this stuff back home. But mainly I've got like, I want to say over 9 stacks of Nether Quartz uh, completely mined out and broken down back at home. So I'm not too worried about getting it. I am concerned about finding our gas. I mean, admittedly, my bow can one-shot pretty much anything in the overworld, even from a distance. So, taking a gas shouldn't be a problem. Now, I say shouldn't because if I can aim correctly, I can get a gas no problem. It's that aiming that's the actual issue that I sometimes have. I'll be so glad once I finally get some Nether War because it's a bit unfortunate that the uh, fortress by my um, portal didn't have any. Okay, so it looks like we were over here before. Okay, um... Maybe what I could do... I don't know where I need to go in order to find a new nether, for, nether fortress. That's the problem here. Because the nether itself is so vast, you never know what you're going to end up finding. And again, the same can be said about the overworld, no problem. Okay. Okay. Now, I think I probably should grab some soul sand while I'm here, all things considered, because then I will be able to grow any nether war I find, and that's definitely not a way I can get down. Let's see, how do I get down there? This should work. Alright, let's go ahead and start uh, marking down our pathway so we can at least find our way back out and I need to eat I literally just realized so let's go ahead and put down our pathway leading up I don't want to speak too soon but I'm actually kind of glad that I haven't encountered any guests just yet. Then again, as I said before, I'm not too worried my bow can one-shot just about anything. Let's see, where on earth could I go to find a nether fortress? Again, that's why I'm technically here looking for. Um... Now let me scout out the area a little bit. Um, I also, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this already, but I'm going to mention it again. I should probably grab myself some soul sand while I'm here because if I'm going to be able to get myself some nether wart, I'm going to need to be able to grow it. And that's obviously, any Minecraft player should know, that's what you use to grow Nether Wars with Soul Sand. Alright, let's see, how much Soul Sand do we have? 14. Let's make it a quarter of a, of a stack, why not? Alright, I think I'm good for Soul Sand for right now, so let's put our shovel up. Yeah, I know, I can hear you, zombie pigmen. I'm not worried about you. Now, this admittedly could take quite a bit of time, all things considered, because the nether, I will know where I'm going. I mean, at least I'm putting down uh, cobblestone so I'll be able to find my way back, but at the same time, I still don't have any clue as to where I'm even going. See, is there anything... I don't see anything over in this direction. Then again, we don't really have much of a choice but to continue onward. Hold on. K, 
cave down this way. Oh, it's not even a cave. It's just a drop-off. Alright. Okay, so we've got ourselves cobblestone going up that way, which I was just trying to double-check where I've come from, because if I can at least see where I've been, it's at least good, I'd like to say. I hear a ghast. I hear a ghast. Where are you? Get my bow out. Get me myself ready. Where are you, ghast? I don't want to have to deal with you, but it doesn't look like I have much of a choice. down there. I know I heard him. I just have no idea where he is. And I also need to be careful of these zombie pigmen. One false move and I'm pretty much gone. And again, the same can be said about ghasts. I don't see anything that way. Did the ghast disappear or despawn or something along those lines? I think he did. Which I'm glad. Okay. This is probably going to end up being like, I want to say maybe about a half an hour episode because I don't know how long I'm going to be walking and I don't know how much of this I'm going to be editing it out, if much at all, because you guys should know me by now. I do like very minimal editing on my videos. I almost always end up doing everything all in one go. Okay, I see some magma cubes down there. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. A lot of zombie pigmen in this area makes me a little bit concerned. I mean, I know they're usually harmless. But that's that usually. That can be concerning because if you're not careful, you guys should know by now that doesn't always bode well for you. And I need to be Careful how far I swing my pickaxe because it does have efficiency on it. Okay, let's go ahead and mark off right there so we know that's the way we need to go back. Alright. Not seeing anything right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and go down this way. I do want to go ahead and put out these fires because otherwise it's going to be a problem. Alright. Still no nether fortress and wherever that guest was, I completely missed them, thankfully. Still nothing. Wow. Um. Hold on. I saw something down there, and I was sworn it was a ghast. I don't know if you guys saw it as well, but I know I saw something down there. did not see anything down there. I was just trying to be cautious and listening out. That's why I was so quiet. I was just trying to see if I could hear anything. I was sworn I saw something. Apparently I didn't. Okay, that's at least, I mean, good that I was imagining things, if that makes any sense. Probably not. Alright, so I need to make my way up here. I still wish I could be able to tell exactly 
what's coming up ahead instead of having to straight up explore. That would actually be something really nice if they had like maps of the nether so that we could see what's up to come. That could inevitably be really useful then again. Considering of the way the nether works, I can understand why it's not a thing. You guys heard that, right? Yeah, I know. I know you're there somewhere. Get out my bow. I'm making this up to you somewhere over there. Yeah, I know, I know you're there somewhere, I just have no idea where. I swear, wherever this guest is, he's probably going to see me before I see him. Which is all, scary, all things considered. I know you're somewhere, where the heck are you? I'm kind of nervous right now. Careful of these zombie pigmen, because for obvious reasons, I need to keep uh, not say that every so often. There you are! I saw you. There we go. All right, that was that went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to take. Say goodbye, guest. Okay. I am really glad I saw him before he saw me, because that could not have gone any better. Alright. Now that ner now that, that nervousness is out of the way. Maybe there are quite a few magma cubes down underneath. Let me go ahead and uh, build this up by a little bit. Need to watch out to make sure there are no other guests. Because that would not be fun to have to try to deal with. Okay, let's go ahead and build ourselves a staircase down. Still no nether fortress. This is really not good. Okay, so I see some gunpowder on the ground, but did I get gas tier? It's possible I didn't get gas tier, because there is lava right down there. Oh, that magma cube's coming for me. There we go. Whoa! For some reason, I forgot they multiplied. Glad I figured that out. Come here. There we go. Alright, so I've got myself a few magma cream. Yeah, I did get gas here. Good. I was kind of wondering. Now I do need to mark my path again. Let's see, where did I come from? I came from over here. Okay, good. At least I know where I've been. Man, so far, no what? Nether Fortress. This is not boding well for me. Although, I do see some magma blocks down here, which I don't have any of those. I'm going to grab some of these. And again, it is kind of really close to lava, so it could be a little bit dangerous to grab. But you know what? I do want some of these just for, um, if not for the sake of having, but probably so that I'll be able to do maybe a little bit of work with them. I don't know. 
The fact that I have efficiency on my pickaxe is being a little bit too efficient, if that makes any sense. Probably not. Alright, so we've got ourselves some magma. How much do we even have? I don't know. Let's go ahead and break this. I did not want to break that much. So how much do we have? 20. You know what? That's fine. I didn't have any to begin with. Um, I think the reason why I didn't have anything to be any to begin with wasn't really necessarily that I hadn't found any. But because the first couple times that I went into the nether and generated terrain, magma blocks weren't actually in the game yet. So, now I got something that's effectively brand new to me, all things considered. Alright, so there's nothing going on this way. What if we go this way? This is... Bit of a trek to be able to try to find anything. And again, I mentioned I want to find another fortress, so I don't exactly have much of a choice but to kind of explore. I swear I'm think about I'm gonna have absolutely terrible luck. I mean not I'm gonna have, I'm definitely having it. All right. All right. Don't know where would be a good place for me to actually end up going at this point because I don't see anything particularly interesting as of right now. I mean, okay. So this, I was just about to ask if there's anything interesting down here, and well, the answer is technically no. It does at least lead me down. Little magma cube. Killed some of your friends a little bit ago. I'm gonna come this way. Is that all of them? I think it is. Okay, good. Now let's see. Where do I go from here? Definitely not lo running low on cobblestone, that's for sure, so I know for a fact I should be at least fine on that regard, but at the same time it's going to take me a long time to get back home. I haven't found anything interesting just yet. I hear another gas, that's not good. Where on earth are ya? Then I am technically There you are, hi. Missed. Come on, I wanna get rid of ya. Do you even see me? I don't think you do. Okay, you are gonna be a problem. There we go. Man to get past the zombie pigmen. Alright. Alright, so where did that gas die? Do I get anything for it? No, it looks like wherever he died, he was above the lava. Alright. Alright, so. Now I got that taken care of him. Ready to go ahead and... Whoa, there's another gas somewhere? You guys heard it too, right? There's another gas somewhere. I just heard it. Alright, let's go ahead and make our staircase downwards.
All right. This has been like one of the most boring episodes, all things considered, for me at least, because granted we did take out a couple guests. The entire point of this episode was to hopefully find another fortress and I haven't had any luck on that regard. So maybe this might have been a waste of time. I hope not. I have no idea where this other guest might possibly be. Don't hear it anymore. I'd like to say that's a good thing, but that doesn't necessarily mean that. Is that a magma cube swimming in the lava? I guess that would make sense because they can't exactly die from it. And this is their territory. Yeah, this has been a fairly fairly boring episode, if I'm being completely honest, because I didn't find anything exciting. I mean, the guests, I will admit, adds a little bit. But not a lot. The one thing I came in this in another to find did not end up happening in the first place. And I have not been marking off my path whatsoever, so let's go ahead and fix that problem. Alright, I have yet to find anything. You know, I know I keep repeating that over and over again. You guys are probably getting tired. Hold on! I was actually literally just about to give up. And I found one. Oh my gosh. I don't know how easy that's going to be to get to, though. Um. Wow. I mean, I was being, I'm being legitimately honest, I was actually about to give up. I was actually about to end the episode off anyway, because I've gone about half an hour, all things considered, and the fact I finally found another fortress, like I've been looking for this entire time, that's good. I do hear a guest somewhere. I want to make sure I'm safe. And I do also want to make my way to this nether fortress. How on earth am I going to get up there, though? Oh, I think I have an idea. I'm probably going to have to dig my way that way. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to have to do. But you know what? Because we found this, and it's been half an hour since I've been... Uh, recording this episode, I think this is actually a good place to go in the video. I'm not going to go into uh, third person to uh, outro this video because I want to scout for guests because I heard one just a moment ago. I'll make sure I'm safe. So, yeah, this is where I'm ending off the video. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure that like button. Well, more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at agencyp 0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Suze. Thank you guys for watching. Number one, I'm glad I don't hear that gas num anymore. Number two, you obviously know where we're going next episode. That, I'm going to have to work out a way in between episodes to figure out how to get over there. If, if it's just as simple as digging my way up there, I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, with that, I'll see you guys later.